Welcome to the Big Four County Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourCountyFirms.com. In today's episode, I wanted to talk about incentives of the Big Four County Firms. I wanted to talk about incentives for employees, partners, and just the firms in general. There's a lot of goals at the Big Four County Firms. There's goals that Big Four County Firms tell the public. There's goals that they have internally and then there's goals that society and regulators have for the big four accounting firms and they all don't fit together and this is why we see a lot of the news stories that we do uh, the, the main thing that we see in news stories for big four accounting firms is scandals and this is because people expect the best of the people that are in charge of the money and that have a cpa or any type of other accounting designation or legal designation like lawyer or EA enrolled agent. Well, people expect the best out of them. And so when they don't get that, they're stunned and they think the accountants are the catch all for everything. But I also want to talk about incentives for employees because once you're, once you get a job at the big four accounting firms, uh, I mean, that, that's a big accomplishment for a lot of people. But beyond that, the main incentive is to get promoted, get a raise, and get a bonus. You don't really care about utilization and how many clients you have necessarily unless you're really trying to make partner. Um, because it's just... It's just not like a great incentive. Like you're not really clear on your incentives of how many clients and all that type of stuff or on being ethical. There's not necessarily an incentive for being extra ethical or catching something that's incorrect at a client or fixing a process at a client. Yeah, you can take a personal story that you have where you fix a process for a client, take that to a partner that might be trying to sell a new service and get that in front of the firm. But otherwise, it's not really going to make that big of a difference. Unless you're doing so well that you create your own service in the big four accounting firm that they're taking out to the clients or that you're so technical that they take it out to the clients, but there's not really an incentive structure built around that except for your performance, uh, your ability to make partner or your raise every year. And so, and there's not really an incentive to get more work either. There's an incentive to do well enough to get a good performance rating and do well enough to get a promotion. And so a lot of times too, if you're an employee and you play it right, you don't have to really do that well in the beginning of the year, in the beginning of the performance year. You can do well later on in the performance year. You can game the system and charge a certain amount of hours. You can get a, a, a client at uh, the busiest time of the year and just, charge the heck out of it, especially when it's in the busy season, or maybe it's a, it's a critical, or maybe it's like a one-off project. It's a really big project. And then as long as that gets you over your utilization metric for the year, then you can cool off and take time off. And, but there's not an incentive to keep on going, getting more clients, as long as you meet your utilization metric or keep on getting more clients as long as you have somebody that's willing to give you a good performance rating. This episode is brought to you by Boomer. Boomer helps you ace the interview at the big four accounting firms, and it does this by helping you practice on questions typically asked on the big four interview. And if you use the link or promo code big, and if you use the link, which goes to tryboomer.com slash big four or the promo code BIG4, then listeners get 10% off their purchase. So go ahead and check out their website, tryboomer.com, and see if you like all the tools they have that can help you prep for your Big Four interview and you do choose to purchase it, make sure to use the link in the show notes because with that link, you're going to get 10% off or make sure to use our promo code. All the details are in the show notes where let's say if you're an hourly person, a contractor at the Big Four accounting firm, there'd be an incentive for you to constantly be working and to constantly be getting more work. And this is basically how partners are incentivized as well because 
partners are trying to get bigger bonuses. They're trying to get more senior positions. So they're trying to win more work uh, and win additional clients. If they can't win additional clients, then it's win additional work at a bigger client. But the same thing goes there. Uh, if they if they've meet, met their met metrics, which are typically revenue metrics and group utilization metrics, there's no need to do more. But also, a lot of partners don't really have ethical metrics either. They don't have to. They don't. They don't get incentivized by catching things at a client by improving processes at a client and the big four accounting firms generally are not incentivized in that manner either the only thing that that keeps them ethical is regulation guardrails and penalties there's no incentives in that direction and so this is just something that i wanted to bring up i think for for the public out there with regards to the big four accounting firms and understanding why they operate the way they operate, but also for potential employees and current employees. And if you're a current employee, I mean, you can think about this yourself because at least personally for me, you struggle. If you're an employee of the big four accounting firms, you struggle wanting to get more work, getting more clients. When calls come up with HR or a staffing person, you might stay quiet because you have enough work. But if you took on that additional work, it might be better for your career or maybe better for the big four accounting firms. But personally, you might not want to do it because of the additional stress, the additional administrative headache. And so I think the I think the, the incentive structure of the big four accounting firms is I'm not sure it's optimized to the best that it could be. Things could be changed. I mean, this just goes to the management structure of the big four accounting firms and why they get themselves into the situations that they do of where they run into these struggles, where they run into the scandals, but also why they have such high turnover. They're not really managing the business and the incentive structure to the best that they could to get things, I think, to minimize the amount of scandals that they have but also to keep the best people and maybe to increase market share. It's all about, you know, maintaining the old way of doing things. And, and also like once people become employees, they're more incentivized to do just enough to get by. But then if you do just enough to get by, then you might not make partner. Um, so it's like this constant push and pull of their incentive structure. And they can improve their business overall if they just improve the incentive structure. They could gain more partners. They could gain more business. They could grow faster. Because especially now for professional services and the way the economy operates around the world, where, where it's a thinking economy, it's a professional service economy, where clients want to know the best way to do things, there's plenty of money to be made. But the way the big four accounting firms are incentivized, they're, they're not set up for exponential growth. They're more set up for growth that's in tandem with the economy and in tandem with the way that their incentive structure works with having people at a certain utilization versus incentivizing them to come up with better ideas, incentivizing them to be more ethical and increasing the firm's brand. The firm's always going to reach this upper limit of smacking their head against scandals and regulations. And as soon as they, they reach a new level they're going to have ethical problems because they went too fast or they can't have that growth because people are maxed out on utilization and there's no way to, to adapt around these areas. So I, I just was thinking of a personal incentive for me and thinking of like how that applies to, to everyone in ways that people might game the system and some ways to improve that. But that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to stay up to date and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Big Four County Firms. Thanks for listening.